Welcome to another Mark Bishop podcast. IBM is announcing its annual list of women leaders in artificial intelligence, which recognizes and celebrates women for leading change and driving innovation through the use of artificial intelligence to advance their companies in areas such as customer service, advertising, retail, and others. My special guest to tell us a lot more about it is Ritika Gunner, data or data and artificial in, uh, expert labs and learning from IBM. Welcome, Ritika. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Well, the announcement will come during IBM's annual conference uh, that is taking place virtually this year, Think Digital, in a continued effort to push for gender equality in artificial intelligence. IBM is showcasing top women from around the world who are first movers in artificial intelligence for business. You must be absolutely delighted with this, Radhika. I'm thrilled and honored to be able to represent these women who have shown such great progress in artificial intelligence and their organizations and making a big impact on their business and work for their customers and their employees. They are the reason that their companies are demonstrating the power of AI in their organizations. This award and um, honor is there to celebrate not only their accomplishments, but to create a peer network for them to really learn from each other and discover approaches for applying AI to solve their business challenges. More importantly, this is really about them showcasing and being role models for other generations so that we can promote the diversity that is absolutely essential in the field of AI. Mm. Well, uh, it seems, Radhika, that uh, artificial intelligence is a fundamental and fast-growing technology. Uh, You know, it's going to drive dramatic advances in travel, education, uh, transportation, fashion, everything in between. Um, This year's list of top women leaders in AI includes more than 30 exceptional female business leaders across a variety of industries. Is that right? Yeah, that's absolutely right. Each one of the honorees is leading at least one AI project in their business and is delivering powerful results. And when you look at an aggregate, all of the activities that these women are leading in their organization. These are complex, challenging environments. These are enterprise use cases of being able to apply AI to the business challenges of their organization. And so we've had great stories of how these women are applying AI initiatives in their organizations. Well, 14 countries around the world, apparently these industries from uh, fairly ranging from banking to retail to electronics, um, the women on the list were selected based on the ways that they're using AI as a transformation agent, right? So, I mean, give us some ideas, uh, if you wouldn't mind, how um, AI, you know, is getting better understood today. Yeah, I'll give you... One example is um, one of the largest banks in France, Credit Mutual. They have a cognitive factory where they have a team of more than 100 people in charge of implementing AI at scale. They're leveraging Watson Technologies to better serve their 20,000 advisors and their over 12 million customers. Mm. One of those projects is being led by one of these female honorees and is an email analyzer that helps the bank manage over 350,000 emails that come its way every day, detecting intent in those emails. Good Lord. Another one is, yeah, I'll I'll give you another one. But is that right? 350,000 emails. A thousand a day. A day. A day. Good Lord. (laughs) No wonder you need uh, AI, huh? (laughs) And think about the scale of this next one, too. Siemens is an AI-based human resource virtual assistant called Carl that serves their 24-7, the company's 385,000 employees, so that they may ask any HR-related question that they have over 200-plus topics. And if you think about it, it has to be in many different languages to span their 385,000 employees. Mm. Carl is actually improving employee satisfaction by being able to answer these questions on demand and it helps have employees decrease the the repetition 
of the of the constant tasks that they get asked to do. Carl is built on IBM Watson Technologies as well. Right. Heavens above. By the way, I'm speaking with uh, Ratika Gunner, ladies and gentlemen, on the Mark Bishop Show from IBM. Fascinating topic, this. Uh, so I gather, Ratika, that by shining a light on these women and their work, IBM hopes to not only inspire and energize others to adopt uh, artificial intelligence to make a true difference in their organizations, but really to uh, also share that when businesses incorporate diversity into their leadership and technological development teams, um, you are going to get better innovations and outcomes, for, uh, you know, created for employees, clients, and I guess society overall. I mean, it's uh, it affects a lot of areas, doesn't it? It does, and I think that by being able to showcase these female leaders and the work that they're doing, and how they're doing that, we're, we're able to promote a younger generation to be able to see career paths that they can really resonate with and give them the confidence, the courage, and the community mm. to, be able to, 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 to be able to proceed in, in, in careers and technologies like AI. Tell us a little bit more about uh, the women leaders uh, in AI list. How, how were the honorees chosen? Well, each of these leaders were chosen because their companies are demonstrating the power of AI and the work that these individuals were actually doing um, in their organizations. And, you know, we have thousands of projects um, across the world, and this is not even our first women leaders in AI. So through the projects that we've seen and the leadership that we've seen, both on the technology side and the business side, um, and we, we, we are selecting great women leaders who are leading these initiatives in their organization. Can you, we've got time, can you share some of the initiatives uh, with us that these women have led? Yes, I think um, we talked about two. We talked about Siemens, mm -hmm. um, and we talked about Credit Mutual. Let me give you one more. Um, Rakuten is a company that serves over 100 million users in Japan and over 1.4 billion users worldwide. Um, they have a, over 70 businesses across commerce, travel, banking, and they have over 84 virtual assistants that they have helping to handle over 83% of the human workload in e-commerce alone. This is the equivalent of 15,000 hours of human work per month that their assistants are now handling. Well, you know, when you say something like that and you share that information, I don't know, but the first thing that comes to my mind, although it's, you know, it's important, it's brilliant, and I can see it, is it going to cost jobs, you know, uh, or, is it, or is it going to create like, jobs? That, it creates jobs, and I think, you know, there's always this fear and uncertainty by being able to use AI to do what it most commonly does, which mm. is automate um, processes, optimize processes, predict better that we're going to displace human workers. And quite on the contrary, what it allows um, what it allows is to be able to have humans to have higher skilled jobs and allow the more repetitive automated tasks to be done by artificial intelligence. And so we actually see that it expands the workforce versus contracting that. Right. Well, that makes sense. See, so, yeah, there's always, uh, you know, the silver, silver lining. When uh, you start talking technology, it doesn't mean the end of the darn world. It can help us. Why, um, why is this kind of recognition important, do you think? I think it's important because, um, you know, we talked about how the, the field has an estimated only 26% of AI professionals globally that are female. This, while it's progress, is far away from having the diversity that we need in artificial intelligence. While men and women working in AI are equally likely to be interested in math and sciences growing up, men are more likely to be told that they have natural talent for math and sciences, while women are more likely to be told that they have natural talent for other areas like the humanities or social sciences. Programs like this are especially important so that we can see an a expanding number of not only females that are working on important AI projects, and the impact that it has on the business because of the diversity, but also because of the true um, role models and career paths that it shows for the younger generation mm. to be able to use as examples. 
Well, with the young ladies coming through college these days and going in, it must be exciting for them. There's another choice. Are they going to be on the same uh, sort of money level? Is, is that encouraging for women through this industry as well, do you see? I can't say that for every organization, but absolutely we believe that a quality of, of, of basically backgrounds and work in all ways, whether you're male or female or whatever your background is, um, equality is, is, is what we really believe in. Well, that's important. Now, information, this is fascinating stuff. Listeners, if you'd like to sit in your pajamas with a nice coffee or herbal tea and read a little more, you need to go to http, uh, you know, semicolon, ibm.com slash Watson slash women dash leaders dash I-N-A-I. Gee, that's a lot. Is there a simple way of getting to this at all, Ratika? Just the ibm.com slash Watson, will that do it? That will do it, and you should be able to see um, the women leaders in AI there, even a link from IBM.com. That's fascinating. Ratika Gunner shining a light on these women leaders in artificial intelligence. It's an important step in creating more gender equality in technology. And you're a busy person. You lead, what, a 1,000-plus-person IBM AI and data team members. How do you keep track of all of them with Watson? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we keep track of all of them using our own AI capabilities, that's for sure. But our our organization, um, we have very passionate people, male and female, of all types of backgrounds across the world, working on very important data and AI projects with our customers, helping them with the technology, the methodologies, and the expertise that they need to drive their business forward. Isn't that fantastic? IBM, talk about Reborn. I remember as a kid with an IBM typewriter when it first came out. Look where you are now. huh? Well, thank you, Ratika. Always interesting information. Just go to uh, www.ibm.com slash Watson. And uh, it's all in there. Plenty of interesting reading, Ratika Gunner. Thanks again, Ratika. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you. There we go. A fascinating lady and an interesting topic too. Artificial intelligence. One day you wake up and maybe the robot will be there. That's all artificial intelligence. Please go get my paper. Go get my coffee. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Uh, we'll be back with another interesting story on the Mark Bishop Show on Business Radio X soon. <laughs> 